Hey guys, the Infant here, bringing you guys something I do twice a week, and that is analyzing Halo 4. If you're wondering why this is on Wednesday and not Monday, that's because my mic was broken and I d really didn't have time Monday to do it, and so I had to get a new mic. So here's the new mic. How does it sound? It's the exact same model as my last mic, so whatever. Uh, but guys, basically all I'm going to be doing today is talking about the grenades in Halo 4. What is my personal favorite? A plasma grenade. I'll get to that in a second. But basically, guys, this is like my third time doing the commentary. I'm just going to try and get this over with. Uh, I r I'm really tired and I need to get back to studying. But basically, guys, let's jump right into this. The plasma grenade, my personal favorite, is because of the stick. Uh, I'm probably just going to be talking about the advantages first and then the disadvantages, uh, if you guys don't mind. The stick, the stick on the grenade is phenomenal. The reason why is because I play close quarter combat. So what do I do? I just throw a, uh, I just throw a grenade when I'm about to die. I usually get a kill when I die. Therefore, it's a one for one. So my KD doesn't drop at all. Perfect. The pulse grenade. It can block off areas. If your flag's in a corner and you know that uh, it has like five seconds left until it uh, resets to your flag position. You throw a p pulse grenade right there, people will avoid them. People don't want to touch the pulse grenades because they know that they, they're not, they no good. Th they're going to hurt, so they'll stay away from it. They'll stay away from your flag. But the frag grenade has a high damage radius. This is my personal opinion. I do feel that the frag grenade does have a higher damage radius or has higher damage in general. So that when you throw a frag grenade, it does create a, a bigger damage. So usually if you throw in grenadier, throw three grenades in a room where you know people are, you're probably guaranteed to get a kill. If not, weaken someone enough to where you can probably pick off the couple of people that are, that are in the room. But the disadvantages. I'm going to go back from uh, bottom to top. The frag grenade. Oh, just knocked my mic. My bad. Uh, the frag grenade. It bounces off course. If you throw a frag grenade at a wall, it's going to go completely off course. Uh, not completely if you hit it head on, but usually if it just taps a wall, I feel that it bounces completely off course, and that's why I personally don't like it. I feel like it's not very accurate, and I, I really like accuracy. Um, the pulse grenade. Like I said before, people will avoid them. People don't want to touch them. If you throw a pulse grenade at someone, they're just going to back up and not touch it and just wait for it to go away. Just, you know, twiddle their thumbs until uh, it goes away. And then what are they going to do? They're going to kill you. It's, it's honestly, it's not very much of a help to you. The plasma grenade, even though my fav it's my favorite, it still does have a drawback. And that's the low damage radius or the low damage if you're not sticking something. If you stick a ghost, you'll probably kill it in one blast, usually. If you stick a person, you'll kill it in one blast, usually. If you throw a sticky at the ground and a ghost runs over it, it usually won't face the ghost, in my opinion. I feel that it doesn't really do as good of a job when it's not stuck to somebody. But that's my opinion. But nevertheless, guys, I still do prefer the plasma grenade over the other two. I feel like it is a better weapon if you're playing close quarters. If you're playing objective games, I, I recommend the pulse grenade if you know how to use it. Um, but again, I still don't like the pulse grenade. Um, but the frag grenade, uh, it's not that I would stay away from it. I would stay away from it if you don't play like Slayer or even Regicide um, or maybe King of the Hill where you know where people are. Um, basically, if you can tell where someone is, that's when you should use the frag grenade. But guys, that's about all I have. I know it's been kind of a short commentary. Um, and I know it's a huge opinion commentary, but nonetheless, guys, I do prefer the plasma grenade over the other two. And, uh... That's that. Uh, other than that, guys, uh, please, if you are new here, please subscribe. It really helps me out. Leave a like. That really helps me out as well. And I know I say it at the end of every video, and I'll say it now. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.